Good morning, it is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Real quick, what do I mean by live in case uh, maybe this is one of your first videos you've watched of these? What I mean is that this is not a situation, I repeat, not where I've already recorded everything and now I'm coming back and explaining what's already happened. So this is not a trade recap. This is not some sort of post commentary. I'm recording myself, seeing the information for the very first time. In other words, I don't know what's coming next. So if you just want an unscripted, nitty gritty look, raw look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out. Um, like I said, win, lose, or draw, totally unscripted, um, then this will be a video for you. But if you are looking for a nicely edited, nicely organized video, uh, then this won't be a video, video for you. But if you just wanna see what it's like down in the trenches of day trading, uh, then I think uh, you'll get some value out of this video. So I'll go ahead and pause for now. Market opens up here in about two minutes. Real quick, I should note that I have actually already made one trade pre-market here uh, on SAVA, which I will be watching out of the opening gates. I'm up $35 on it. I thought I could get, I, I was basically wrong on it. Um, thought that it, it could make, move a, a couple dollar move in my favor um, and you know put me up over you know a, a good solid amount above $100 on it. Um, and I, you know, in hindsight, coulda, woulda, shoulda, had I woulda, you know, had I held, um, then I would have been, I would have been fine, uh, but it didn't quite behave in the way that I wanted it to behave in the amount of time that I wanted it to behave. Um, so, you know, just hopped out and had to kind of take what I thought the market was willing to give, which was just the $35. So I, I suppose a little example of, uh, you can still kind of be wrong, but still make money. And that's what happened there. Um, so just, you know, wanted a quick little uh, a kind of context builder on that. So I will be starting up the day about $35, uh, but I will pause and be back at the open. I'm watching MRNA here, 434, only 50 shares because this one is so, so jumpy. But if it wants to come down to 434, I'd be interested in getting short. But again, a very, very jumpy stock. Um, so I need to factor in that volatility and I'm gonna uh, you know, factor in that risk just via position sizing here. Um, so if it goes in my favor, then yeah, I'm not gonna make a ton of money, but if it all of a sudden snaps against me, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lose a ton either. So 434, I'm watching closely. In there at 434. So let's see if we can get the move now down through 433. There we go. Want to see 432 here before I even think about taking any profits. And 432, gotta see that minimum. So it doesn't wanna come down to 432 is the question. Looking good right now. Oh, but it's definitely getting caught up at 40 or 432.25. Well, now I'm officially red on the trade, but again, had, had got to give it a chance. Uh, if it does want to come back down to 432.25, uh, at this point, I'm going to look to add to the trade. Yeah, what a crazy move to the upside, but that's exactly why I did small position size, because uh, it's very volatile. Ideally, I wanted that volatility to really kick in my favor to the downside. I mean, it really didn't. So if this comes down to 432 at this point, I'm gonna look to add to a winner here. If it wants to come back down to that area. SAVA didn't really, not really missing out on much with that. But MRNA just all of a sudden. Wow, 
Volume, oh, volume, where did you go? This goes up over 437. I'm getting out. Or does it want to come back down? Perhaps 433.50 as a add point. Right now, looking like this thing might want to head back up. As of now, I'm very glad that I just did 50 shares. Now, of course, if this thing collapses, I'm going to be sitting here saying, why did I only do 50 shares? But at this moment in time, I feel I'm glad with my decision to only do the 50 shares. I'll look to add at 433. So in other words, if 433.50 is broken, then I would like that. But 433.50 needs to be broken. Okay, in there at 433.59, so added some more. Now I'd like to see if this thing can uh, finally get moved to the downside here. Can still want that 432. Am I gonna get it here? Or is this thing just gonna play more games with me here? Just like that, down there and then bounce right back up. Just break 432, that's all I'm asking. I'm not being a greedy savage, I'm not asking you to break through lows. Oh wow, there's 432 again. Can the price actually push down through it? Kind of ridiculous why 432 refuses to fall. Hey, there we go. And now I can't even get out at 432. I see how it's going to go. It's going to be one of these ones, huh? Where it's very difficult to get out, even if you want just 25 shares to get out. What in the world? All right, I'm taking my, I'm too choppy for me. Even if this goes in my favor, uh, at this point, don't really care. I gave that thing, let's see. That was the first time it bounced, failed, bounced, failed, and bouncing again. Even if it comes back down, I don't care uh, because this thing is just way, way, way too choppy. Let's go take a look at SAVA. Oh yeah, nothing really. I mean, actually a pretty nasty move right there. You know that thing got some breakout players. People buying that breakout, rightfully so, and then to just have the price flush back to the downside.
All right, well, I will go ahead and pause for now. But yeah, as you can see, not really a fantastic morning. I, I just not quite getting what I what I want to see get. And if you're curious, mRNA, I'm watching it on another monitor, still has not broken through 432. In fact, it, it's bounced back up again. So I'm going to keep my eye on it, though, because if this thing continues to go sideways, sideways, sideways to above 432, um, then I, I there could be another very quality setup that takes place. Um, but I'm not willing to touch it right now unless it wants to stay up above for a little bit more. But I will pause for now. And once again, you can see the price came down to 432 and has basically bounced big green candle here. Although I'm curious if this green candle here fails and the price comes back down, um, then that would be an interesting scenario here. If 432 comes back into play. I will go ahead and pause for now. All right, coming back down here. Watching 432. Is this finally going to be the break? Huh, according to the chart, it dropped below 432. I don't remember seeing it drop below 432. But yeah, wow, 432, quite the quite the line in the sand right now on this one. So it's really just a question of, you know, is this truly some sort of bottom forming and the price is gonna bounce or is this just a little bit of a kind of a breath before this downwards move continues from earlier on in the day? But even that was a pretty nasty move up, all the way down and then back up. This thing truly is all over the place. All right, I will pause. All right, I don't know if it'll happen because again, these are live, uh, but would like to see this thing get up to, let's call it 346, maybe a little bit above, and then come back down. And then I would be interested in a short. So step one, price has got to get up to <clears throat> 346. What is the low? Yeah, 345.20, yeah. So let's just first see if the price can even get up there to that 346 area. And then I'll worry about the rest of the trade plan at that point. So let's see if it can get up there. Okay, okay, maybe getting in business here. Maybe getting in business. What is a low of that? Yeah, 340. Okay. Come on, push up a little bit more. High of three. It hit it did hit 346. Would love to see it get up above 346 just a little bit and then come down. But I mean, it did hit what I wanted to see it hit. So 345-ish, 25 is what I'm looking at here. Would love to see it go back up again, though. Good, good, good. Okay, what is that? Yep. Okay, very interested now in it, but let's see it now come back down. And looking for a 345, 25-ish, that general area. But I don't know, maybe this, is a, maybe this thing's about to break out. See if this thing wants to play ball or not. Well, not exactly what I want to see with that candle. All right, well, I will pause for now and I'll let you know if anything comes about. Okay, watching three in there at 345.25. Now let's see if this thing wants to uh, continue on down. Let 
Very, very nice five minute looking chart right now. So there's the five minute. Not just a question of does this thing want to roll back over? That is the question. <clears throat> I suppose another question is, would I want to add to it? If it comes down to, we'll call it 345. This is a good looking setup. This is a good looking setup. The one thing that's got me a little worried is it is Facebook, so you know that there's probably People out there that are, hey, you know, it's Facebook, it's down, let me buy, buy, buy. Now, whether or not those people went out, maybe, but that does have me a little hesitant to add more if it gets down at 345. But let's, let's I mean, see if that even happened in the first place. Because as of now, it's being very stubborn right here around, yeah, 344. Or 345.25 does seem to be kind of that golden goose area. Which, yeah, as of now, it's holding stubborn, very stubbornly. Okay, getting some movement. This thing's got to get down below 345, though. Knocking on the door a little bit. Does it want to fall is the question though. Okay, there's the break. Getting hung up here a little bit in the 344.80s. So took out 200 shares there. Took out another 50 there. So still have 200 shares left. So this could still be, I suppose, a losing trade. If this thing decides to really all of a sudden just bounce up big against me here. But it, at this point, it would be a very, very, very minimal losing trade. Yeah, I, I'm, and I'm not even quite sure. I just can't do the math that well in my head. Again, I'm not sure if that's possible. If this goes up over 345.50, I will be out. So yeah, I that would still be, yeah, should still be in the green there because that would be a loss on the final 200 shares, but not by much. So yes, this will be a green trade, uh, but now I'm in a great spot of just, okay, well, how, how much of a green trade is it gonna be? And that's, that's a good spot to be in as traders, right? So I am stressed out about this one, but my only stress is, well, how much money am I gonna make here? And that, talk about a great stress to have. So if then, if this goes up over 345.50, I will be out, which will cost me money on these last 200 shares. I will lose money on this final portion, but I'm willing to take the risk that I lose money on those, because what happens if this thing continues to bleed downwards? Well, then I'm gonna be sitting here saying, well, I wish I still had 200 shares left, so to me, that's a risk worth taking, especially when I know that the overall trade will still be green. So 30 or 345.50 is the level that I'm watching. Uh, but you know, ideally this thing continues to come on down. A 
which will put some more uh, profits into my pocket and loving this candle right here that's forming. But yeah, let's see if this thing, uh, I mean, coming down to 344 would be fantastic, but step one is uh, gotta be, let's see, where's that stubborn level? Yeah, 344.30 we'll call it. Yes, no, zero stress, zero stress right now. The only stress I have is, hey, how much money am I gonna make on this thing? That's a good kind, that's a good kind of stress to have. But yeah, can this thing, really 344.50 right now, it's kind of been that stubborn area. And as you can see here, it just does not wanna quite surrender it. All right, well, I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch all of this, so if it looks like I'm gonna be getting stopped out or if it looks like I'm gonna take more profits because it starts to go in my favor, uh, then I will get the video rolling uh, at that point. Okay, it's nearing 344.50. So the level I'm watching right now, I wanna see 344.50 disappear. There we go, it's disappeared. Now the question really becomes, okay, well, how far down is it gonna disappear? Can I get some at 344? Can it break down through 344? It's close. Trying to give it that chance. There we go. So it took out another 25 there. Would really like to see this momentum kick into high gear here. Momentum to the downside, of course. Gonna go ahead and take off another 25 there. So still have 150 shares left. Like to see this down below 340, 50. It's definitely getting very volatile down here. So we're looking at either a, a, probably a good size bounce coming or this thing's getting ready to really continue to plunge. There we go. Because I think it's wants to continue to potentially plunge. That's why I'm letting it go down even further. Okay, good. Got even more than what I wanted on those ones. Let's see if we can get below 343 here. There we go. Amazing. There we go. Another 25 off. Even better. Now momentum's really kicking into high gear. There we go, can we get the break at 342? How s great would that be? Three forty two knocking on the door. Not sure if it's gonna break, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off another twenty five there. So still have fifty left just in case. It does want to break down through there. But yeah, stubborn, 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 as would be expected. But that is exactly why I hung on to those 200 shares, for this reason right now. So still have 25 shares left, and I think it's bouncing here. And I am happy with that trade. So there we go, $621 on that trade, which brings me, oh, I was recording, right? Okay, I was recording, which brings me up to $722. Uh, the time is 10.15, so I will take it. 700, I don't know, with commissions, let's call it 715, $715 in 45 minutes, I will take it. And just to, to bake in, because I thank you for your feedback, by the way, in the comment section. I know you like when I bake in kind of little miniature learning lessons. But the key dynamic here was this. Remember when I was talking about, well, you know, I still have those 200 shares, and yeah, I could still lose money on those 200 shares, but, I, I like the setup, so I'm gonna hang on to them because I wanna see if this thing wants to go in my favor. And you can see right there, yeah, it went in my favor and those 200 shares ultimately became very, very valuable to me. 
So if you like this setup, if you have confidence in it, if it's at a quality setup, if it's a legitimate setup, and I, I emphasize those because, uh, you know, and, and I'm not speaking from my perch here because I, I get it, I was a beginner, but I see lots of beginners, myself included, you know, when I was first getting started, like, oh yeah, this is a great setup, oh, this is fantastic, and you're looking at like, no, that's really not the, a good setup at all. Like, why do you have so much confidence in that? And I mean, it makes sense when you're new and you don't know what you don't know. Sometimes you think that a quality setup is, is not quite as quality as what it is, uh, but in this situation, uh, you know, I, I felt as though it was a very quality setup. I hung on, and yes, like I said, those 200 shares could have potentially cost me money, um, but that, that was okay. I, I was willing to, to hang on to those uh, to see if it ultimately, uh, you know, did go in my favor and it absolutely did. So there we go, uh, captured, let's see, it got mRNA, um, and that was kind of a eh, and then as I mentioned earlier from the pre-market, Sava was kind of a eh type trade, so really two is and one worked out beautifully, and that's all you need, you just, all it takes is one, and uh, that can really transform your day, uh, and I am definitely gonna call it good at, uh, again, $715, and we'll call it 45 minutes. That's crazy. Where, are, where else in the world can you make $715 in 45 minutes pressing buttons online? The markets are truly a great place, a crazy place, and I'm very grateful for them. Uh, now, before I go though, if you do enjoy these live trade videos, uh, then please let me know because these are not easy videos to make. I have to think, oh, which reminds me. So check this out right here. This was uh, what I put in that. So if you're not familiar, I do offer a community, but also there's people who are like, hey, Clay, how does that work? So right here is that Facebook trade. Facebook, step one, 346.15-ish, as I was talking to you. Step two, price comes down to 324.25-ish. And it was that my entry point? Yeah, nice. And that was exactly my entry point. So, I mean, this was all mapped out for members of the community. Um, now, does that mean that everybody just blindly follows? No, of course not. It's not a group of sheep, uh, but it is. Uh, and that's the idea, is people just sharing ideas with one another and if people want to agree, disagree, that, that's fine. But it's just a, hey, this is what I'm thinking. Throw it out there. And like I said, because uh, people think for themselves, they can look at something and say, oh yeah, that, that, that's good, Clay. I like that. Or eh, doesn't really fit my style, Clay. Or nah, Clay, I just totally disagree. But the idea here is not a bunch of blind sheep, people that think for themselves. So yes, I, I wanted to show that. So that is how the chat room works. I mean, you can see that entire Facebook trade was mapped out. Uh, for members, it was mapped out for you here listening before it ever happened, and it just happened to play out very, very nicely, even though at one point it was looking a little shaky, uh, but ultimately turned out great. So anyways, uh, back to these live trade videos. If you enjoy them, because they're not the easiest things to make, I have to talk to you. I have to make alerts in the chat room. I have to think about my own trade plans. I have to manage my own trade plans. I have to think about what I'm, what I'm gonna say to you next. There's, there's just a lot going on, and they're, they're difficult to make, but I will keep making them as long as I know that uh, you're finding value in them. So if you enjoy them, if you want me to keep making them, then do two things for me. Hit that like button, leave a basic comment. It could be hi, it could be the number one, it could be a smiley face emoji, it could be a ticker symbol that you traded today. Anything, just hitting the like button and a basic comment communicates to me that you enjoy these videos. And as long as I know that you enjoy, then I have no problem at all continuing to make them. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a good one. And if you're, oh, I should note, if you're interested in joining that private community, it's claytrader.com forward slash team, T-E-A-M. Claytrader.com forward slash T-E-A-M. Everybody take care, have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.